Welcome to Ethel Street. We've got a really good residence association here. It's called Fan Community Alliance. So there's 37 houses and we consider everyone in the street to be a member. The street cleanup we just we did on Saturday ready for the competition later on with Cecil Street. We've got a best kept street competition. We probably had about 25, 30 people out in the street painting houses and sweeping away and cleared the gutters. They did the troughings as well. We thought, good idea, we'll have this street competition, trying to get people out and do their little bit for their community, do their, even if it's just their front doorstep. We've always got like the recycling boxes out and we're always prompting everybody to recycle everything as they're doing it. This is Lisa from the Environment Agency and we've been Hi, working yeah. on a, a community flood plan with her. I'm part of a scheme called Flood Awareness Wheels. The Flood Awareness Project is basically trying to set up um, plans in communities so it's just getting more of a sense of flood risk, knowing what you can do, knowing who you can contact mm -hmm. and just having that something in place because the river needs um, just behind the industrial estate yeah. there. Yeah. So having steps and actions to contact mm. of if that warning came out, how you can work together then as a community to protect your homes before anyone came out to you then. One of the neighbours went up to the farm in Tonna to see if we could get a good price on free range eggs. Mm -hmm. I mean, we, we don't charge for doing it. We are doing it to help the neighbours. Keep Wells Tidy have just funded a, a big storage container for us so that we can reuse more of the stuff that we're, that we're using for our events. And they'll be stopping targeting dog owners, giving them some bags if they haven't got bags and explaining, you know, it is an offence if your dog's fouling. We've had packs that we've put through everybody's doors to kind of give them more information. It's a dead end lane that has been used as like, it's like a hotspot for fly tipping, for dog fouling, antisocial behaviour. We've been working with the renewal area team and after two and a half years now we're finally getting it gated. We're just waiting on the gates and then it'll be hopefully done all for next spring.